course of the Hindu, the Bhagavad Gita. I thought of taking the course from Bhagavad Gita and then trying to interpret on those course. Mm -hmm. Lust, anger and greed are the three doors to hell. Hell has the three heads, lust, anger and greed. Let us look into the lust. When people say lust, what enters into, into the mind is the sexual lust. Of course, that is one part of the sexual lust. What is sexual lust? The person, lust means the person whom you have not taken care, not you watered. If you like it, you pluck it, that is lust. But if you love it, you will water it, that is not lust. That is beauty, that is love. Lust happens in that because you are trying to pickpocket, you are trying to grab something. Because you have that sexual feeling and you are trying to cut through without making the other person understand. When they, when they, when they talk about lust, on the sexual part, the lust is to grab the person who would not know the other person. What happens in the marriage also? In the marriage also, it is one way traffic. Without the wife participating, without the husband participating, both participate, yin and yang, both participate, or participation, it is love, others that becomes lust. It is one way traffic. That's where sometimes they call it rape. On the other side, there is a lust of the business, trying to see another businessman and trying to grab his business. That is also another kind. That is called a robbery. That is accepted in the society. When the business has been accepted in the society as lust to be grabbed, the businessman can raid another factory, company. They can buy the shares without their participation because they have the money. Then Automatically, on the sexual part also, people have decided, I have the right. Hence, with all the rules in the world, they have not been able to stop the molest and the rape. What is molest and the rape? The person who have not understood both parties together to make sure that it is for the development of the society. Same ways on the books also. If you go to the studies, you have a lust. And the lust for grabbing that examination, that degree, you pay any amount or you copy. When you copy without studying, that is again lust. That lust is poisonous. It is diseased. Lust, anger and greed are the three doors to hell. Now let us look at the anger. From where the anger came? I have a lot of anger, instant anger. I am a short-tempered person. One person goes to the Zen master and says, and Zen master said, hey, are you sure? He said, yes. In that case, can you just show me the anger? He said, how will I show it? He said, if you cannot show it to me, then it is not yours. You must have borrowed it. Anger came from where? Because you have not participated in that particular work. So to cover up your mistake, you get angry and that anger you try to be destructive to protect yourself when you participate you have no anger at all i have understood that every time people said you have got a massive shocking anger sometimes they scream and i stop for a second and look and exactly that is the truth when that particular day if i have not done my homework and i have not discussed the matter with that particular department and I directly walk in, I got no connection at all. Anger spills out. When that anger is on the tip, what happens the next is criminal activity. You try to be destructive and not creative. Hence, they say, are the doors to hell? Are the hates? Hell has the three hates, they say. The greed. Lust, anger, and greed are the three doors to hell. And then we come to the greed. From where did the greed came? The greed came because you have become a slave to the society. From the industrial revolution onwards, 
they made you a slave, they gave you time, and on the bell of bell, when, whether you are hungry or not, you listen hear the bell, you felt you're hungry, you have to go and eat. The body did not ask you because you worked very hard. But when you're working very, very hard, when hunger happens, first hunger, second hunger, third hunger, and you go and wash your hands in your face, and then you go and sit, you religious whether the food is good or bad, doesn't come. You relish because the body wants the carbohydrate. Body is looking for the protein and body will tell enough is enough. But on the other side, the greed of grabbing, because others are eating, I should eat. Because the bell is given, I should eat. There was a casino or ship, a yacht, a tourist going on. And they have announced you, you will get breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And it is a buffet, varieties, all around the world, varieties of the world dishes are available for you free. And the people are gone to see the tourists uh, going to enjoy. From early morning, they were standing in the big queue just to, because they wanted to eat, not because the body wanted. That becomes the greed whenever you find something, you try to take it in the body. And you're not knowing that greed is becoming a disease in your body. And then you land up into the hospital. Lust, anger, and greed are the three doors to help. That greed is what making the parents to tell the children, take engineering, take medicine. The children doesn't know. They are looking which gives them big money. It's grabbing. It's a big pocketing. Which company gives you the big amount of money as salary? They do not know what to do with that money. But big money, anybody, it's equals to robbery. You have already trained your children to become lust, anger, and greed. And then you pinpoint telling they are wrong. Then you keep running out of some of these temples and masjids and uh, churches. To clean up your seat and no churches, no spiritual places can clean up, neither the hospitals. Now the new new religious places are the hospitals because doctors have become the, the new sannyasis who are trying to clean up the mess. And then they said they will take you to God, like the shepherd told the sheep, come, I'm taking you to God. And all the sheep went and it was a butcher's place. He takes them to the other side. And he comes back from this side and tells the other group standing, come already, they've gone to God. I see you. Which the previous religious leaders have done it. Now the hospital doctors are doing it. Both were equally wrong. It is for you to make sure that you come out of the greed. Lust, anger and greed are the three doors to hell. When you do not practice a samskriti, when you practice a samskriti, you are in deep in love with nature. When one loses a deep intimate relation, where your deep intimate relationship or deep intimate love with the nature, then temples, masjid, churches become very important. Then the lust, anger, greed becomes very important. And that they show it as a big, great man, rich man, having merged these varieties of buildings, etc. Creating more greed is become the way of life. It is a devil's world now. And devils are ruling the world. Bhagavad Gita, of course, says lust, anger, and greed are the three doors to hell. Hell is the three, the three hates lust, anger, and greed. Come out of that. If you don't come out of that, you will be deceased. Come out of that before we leave this world. You can see beauty. That beauty comes from you practicing the Sanskriti. Practice the Sanskriti. Do your bhajan. Bhajans is beautiful songs, stretch your body with the yoga asanas or whatever varieties of exercises are there. Allow your family, connect to your joint family and strengthen your family.